TRW, the adventure continues with um, Great American, Great Battles of the American Civil War using part of the uh, Gleam of Bayonets um, battle here. Um, looking at now defensive fire phase, um, uh, the, uh, let's see, the phasing player right now is the Confederate player. So defensive fire phase, the non-phasing uh, player here, the Union, the Union side, um, may conduct fire combat with any of his uh, units that are capable of firing at any of the phasing player's units within the provisions and restrictions of fire combat and line of sight rules. Um, there is no movement except as a result of combat. Um, so let's see. And again, we have artillery brought on. Um, so. I guess artillery fire is defensive fire as well. Um, so Union player. Um, so I'm looking for a lot of different, uh, for a lot of different um, um, combat uh, examples here. So here, um, uh, 19th Indiana. Let's try this. 19th Indiana, part of Gibbons, let's see, Gibbons uh, Brigade. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. So uh, 19th Indiana is currently at strength of 3. Um, obviously fires out front hexes. Um, so they'll fire up here. This is up one level to the Hampton Legion there. Um, I don't, it's not enfilade fire, I guess, going to the front, so this is a straightforward range of two, um, range of two, let's see, they are rifled muskets, again, the, uh, the R there, oops, <laughs> the R is rifled muskets, uh, starting strength of four, morale of five, but current strength of three, they've already taken a loss. Rifled muskets at range two is one, so it's a three. So it's on the one to three column. Density, uh, actually Hampton Legion is a small um, target, so it's minus one, shifting one. Okay, so we have multiple modifiers. Um, <laughs> minus one, <clears throat> that's uh, one shift to the left um, for a um, small target. So that puts us down to the zero or less column. Then we have another minus one for um, firing up one level. That's that's the terrain modifier. Um, now it says zero or less, so I just want to make sure. Um, is fire allowed um, if you move off the table? All right. For now, I'm going to assume that I just use the lowest column because I really shifted off the off the table. Um, ooh, I rolled a six, and that's exactly what I needed. So a P slash R. Um, so the target, the Confederate, is, um, yeah, again, I'll just roll the die. Four. Uh, Hampton Legion, yeah, I think he's okay. Hampton Legion's um, morale is five there. Um, Yeah, so uh, P slash R, roll one die results uh, equal to or lower than the unit's morale. It's pinned. Okay, so he's pinned. Okay. Um, so the result is pinned. Um, like that. Um, I don't think there's... Um, is there anything else? Um... I don't think so. I'm not forgetting something. Um, all right, so let's see if there's other combat here. Um, well, yeah, it's going to fire right down here from this high ground. To um, so I, I didn't even look at the tar so it's a four strength Confederate target so there is no unit density adjustment. Um, 35th New York uh, strength current strength of five. 
I'm assuming the leader doesn't do anything with fire combat. <laughs> of course, I've been wrong before about that with other games, but uh, five at a range of two is multiple. The range, what do you call it? The what do you call it? The weapons, um, the range effects chart is uh, multiples one, so it's five. So that's four to six column. Um, shooting down one level, I don't think, is a modifier. Um, no, it's only when you're shooting up. Um, let's see. Again, no, no density adjustment. Uh, okay, so I guess it's the four to six column. Oh, they rolled a six. All right. Uh, six, four to six column. By the way, I'm not showing the the CRT because it's pretty. It's pretty basic, right? You're getting. You're getting one, two, three losses. The the asterisk is a, um, a morale check, um, which results in a possible pin. Um, you have P slash R that I've been talking about several times. That's the roll one die. If it's equal to or less than the unit's morale, it's pinned. Otherwise, it routes. Then you have a P or an R, which is the same. It, well, it's not the same. So you, you check morale um, if it's if it's uh, higher, <clears throat> um, then it pins or routes as 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 called for. So that's the basic one d six. Um, you have your 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 uh, ranges of firepower up there. You know, again, you have the one for the grape shot. You have one for small arms and counter battery. Um, so I'm not really talking about this in any detail, or not showing this in any detail. Um, now, when I get to, and I really want to get to the um, uh, Gleam of Bayonets game-specific rules, that, that moved to a 2D, 2D6 uh, table. So I'm, I'm interested in that, and I'm interested in getting to that. You know what I just realized? <laughs> I just realized. I just now realized... I mean, this is fine for the mechanics, but this is this is totally wrong. Um, yeah, this is totally wrong because the scale is different. So here you have up to losses of three on this fire combat results table because of the hundred strength per point per strength point. You go to a gleam of bayonets is fifty soldiers per strength point. And if I remember correctly on that, CRT, you go up to 6, obviously. So, casualties are artificially low here. I think I have that right, because... Huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I want to get on track here so actually uh, I need to move up to a gleam of bayonets and I'm gonna do that right now I'm not even gonna delay yeah there's no reason to continue with uh, this lopsided uh, scaling so I am graduating to gleam of bayonets exclusive rules because it's a totally different scale <laughs> um, so I don't know I mean, obviously I was thinking, obviously I noticed that the, uh, that the losses on the fire combat table are different. Yes, they are. Oh, and they flipped it. <laughs> so, wow, that is a really interesting fire CRT. I like it. That is not linear at all. But still, isn't that flipped? You, you want... Uh, that seems flipped. Even though it's, even though it's still non-linear. Um, in the, in the standard rules, the standard rules you want high. Yeah, you definitely want high. 
right there. You want high. Like on the highest column, one, two, 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 three, three. Wow. And here, even though it's nonlinear, you yeah, you generally want low. I guess you want lower rather than higher. Huh. All right. Well, let's see what else. I think other things are going to be... Other things are going to... Oh, yeah, of course. The density adjustment chart is uh, is different. Okay. All right. Yeah, I need to be... I need to be on the exclusive rules here. All right. Well, let's do this fire combat again. Because this is different now. So this is... Um, I was using the range effects chart, though. So it's still five. Um... If that's five to eight column. Um, the target again is uh, where is it here? Yeah, is size four. Uh, that's minus one. <laughs> and then no, there, there's nothing else. I think that's it. Uh, wait, I thought I was forgetting something. Um, No, I guess not. All right, so we have a pretty average six. Um, six, and a six is nothing showing the nonlinearity there. All right, so here's the three, three to four column. You go two asterisk one one p nothing p slash r nothing r nothing one nothing. So we got the six right in there with a nothing. Oh, I like that. All right. Um, hmm. I just realized if in this design you're supposed to assess results as you go, or you're supposed to do all the all your attacks, in this case defensive fire, then implement all the results. Hmm. I wonder about that. Um, let's, let's combine here. Let's, can they combine? Um, I don't know why they can't. All right, so. I was going to look at combining all of this fire against the 4th Alabama there, but actually the corn, this is definitely cornfield. The cornfield is definitely intervening and the cornfield definitely by the train effects chart train effects on combat the train effects on combat chart that blocks line of sight so yeah so that's that so we'll move on let's see hmm firing against a let's fire against an artillery um yeah let's do that so 7th Wisconsin here on the rise um, it's gonna fire here to the Confederate uh, artillery in the wood line. All right, so I think, um, well, let's just go in order here. It's strength four, a range of two, it's rifled muskets. Well, that's significant because when I get to smoothbore muskets at range two, that's halved. Um, okay, but it is times one, so it is four fire strength. Um, uh, I think the artillery is a battery counts as one strength point for density purposes. So it's, it's always one, so it's minus two, which is good. That's it's minus that's two to the left, so it's a small target. Um, yeah, so it's, I mean, I'm going to do this, but when I get to ammunition, this will definitely be probably a shot that I wouldn't take. But I mean, I'm down to the zero or less. Yeah, okay, six. I didn't I didn't get anything, but that was actually closer than it's actually closer than I thought it was gonna be. Um okay. Um, um over here. Um let's get some more combat in. This one, this stack firing down from the rise into the cornfield. Um, now the cornfield isn't going to have any effect on combat for the target. 
Um, it's strength seven though, so that oh that's zero for density adjustment. Here's the leader, he's got two. Do I just combine stacked? Huh. Um hmm. Do I don't I? All right, so I think they can fire together, but but then I remembered the uh, the hex per hex side firing limit. So even though there's ten strength points there, they're limited to eight in this game, not four per the standard rules. So it it will be eight. Then, well, it's not multiplied; it's multiplied by one, so it's eight. Um, no density modifier, no terrain modifier. So I think it is eight. So it's on the five to eight column. Five, roll to five. Um, five in the five day column is a is an R result. Now let and let's see if R is I think R is the same. So check morale, the target. Yeah, they, they made it though. But the the uh, second Mississippi has a morale of five. Um, yeah, this is the same. If it passes, no effect. Okay. So Okay. Let's see. Um, that's going to. I think their line of sight is blocked. You have a crest there. You have woods there. Do you see over woods? Hmm. Hmm. And then what about? Well, that hex side has blo blocking train, presumably on both sides. I guess. Assuming one, two, three, four. Four is half. No, oh, okay. Alright, that's um that that's all for defensive fire actually. <laughs>